Hello everyone, Travis here with GameSpot Esports at the IPL 5. Uh, this is actually day three and I'm joined by Pamela Horton, also known as Miss October 2012, uh, and also a huge League of Legends fan. So uh, I know I know you've you've seen a lot of popularity recently amongst the League of Legends community, so I'm curious, uh, you know, can you give me the rundown of how that all occurred? I know I saw a Reddit article and all that kind of thing. Basically what happened was my PR, uh, my PR lady sent out this blast to a bunch of websites, gaming websites, and uh, Kotaku got their got the PR blast but wrote an article without interviewing me and but they made it sound like oh you know League of Legends has hit it big because Miss October likes it so it was good for League of Legends but they didn't actually interview me um, but uh, that just blew up on Reddit and uh, I brought the attention to uh, some writers and then I got invited out to the World Championship which was amazing <laughs> yeah so you, you were at the World Championship I saw you there it was, it was uh, obviously a really awesome event but now now you're at IPL 5 and uh, I, I think maybe this is a testament you know I, I don't I don't mean to say anything, but I think that there are some girls out there they say, oh yeah, I play World of Warcraft or something, and then yeah. they don't actually. But you're here on your own, just checking out the games, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I've uh, I've had a, a recent interest in esports, and when I heard about IPL5, and I was going to be in LA anyways, and I had a bunch of friends that were going to come here anyway, so I just kind of hitched a ride, and uh, um, it's it's been blowing my mind. i completely like. <laughs> yeah, we actually just watched the M5 Azubu Blaze games. Yes. Did you, what do you think of that? Just super exciting? Well, um, I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm a Moscow 5 BenQ girl, okay. so, um, you know, but, you know, not, not compared to my TSM. You know, i got to yeah, represent yeah, yeah. TSM, but uh, Moscow 5 has always held a special spot in my heart, and I kind of knew that they were going to get that last game. <laughs> you, you know, I've noticed that uh, that TSM seems to get, get all the fangirls or whatever, so, so let, me, let me ask you, why TSM? Because um, I actually I got to meet a lot of pro players okay. when I was at the World Championship, but TSM was the only one that actually seemed interested in playing with fans. Oh, okay. And uh, they're really big into uh, fan appreciation and being in touch with their fans. And they actually asked if I would like to stream with them, and I thought that was absolutely amazing. So, like Dan Din was like, "Oh yeah, you could stream with me." I was like, "Ah, oh, that's so cool!" So that's how you get diehard fans. <laughs> Well, you know, you seem to be very well spoken and very good in front of the camera. What do you? Uh, is there any chance that you might be interested in? You said you have a new love for esports and, and possibly doing like some sort of esports work in the future. Well, I mean, there's, there's, a, I, I keep my options open. There's always a chance that I'll be able to do something, but as of right now, there's, you know, there's no, there's certainty. There's no certainty. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of big question mark. <laughs> Very cool. Well, hey, you know, just a cu couple simple questions because I know everybody wants to, to know. It's just a, you know, anytime somebody notable is uh, interested in League of Legends, they want to know, like, who's your favorite champion? <laughs> I get a lot of grief for this, but Teemo's my number one. Uh, but I am a, I'm a really bomb Soraka. Like, I'm really good with Soraka. And it's typical, you know, girls play support, whatever, but I can play basically anything except for jungle. I never got jungle down. So, uh, but Teemo, Soraka, and Riven, I, those are my three, my three go-to ladies. Have you, have you had a chance to meet Christina V here, the voice of Riven? She's actually at the event. Yeah, yeah. no, actually, I saw her. She's cosplaying right yeah, yeah. now, isn't she? Like, I don't know if she's cosplaying right now. I, she might be. I haven't seen her, but I know she was on our hosting. If, if she is cosplaying, I need to go check that out yeah. because... No, I'm pretty sure someone pointed her out and said, hey, that's the girl who did the voice of Riven. She's cosplaying. Ugh. Super awesome. I saw her earlier. I have to go, I have to go find her now to, to interview her, especially if she's cosplaying. Is she cosplaying Riven, you think? I have no idea. I right. just uh, Someone pointed her out in a group of people. So. Very cool. Well, when you're playing Soraka, do you steal all the kills, like uh, scumbag Crepo style? Um, I've been known to steal at least one kill a game, but I try really hard not to. I don't, I don't like star call yeah, yeah. like mad when you know, yeah, like it's fights. well, no, not no, during team fights. Heck yeah, you okay. want to, <laughs> you want to do as much damage as you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to you know just taking down bot lane, putting a lot of pressure on, um, I don't star call all that often because I don't want to be stealing kills. So, I mean, my AD carry is the one that needs those. So, <laughs> all right, final question. Uh, you said you like Teemo, Soraka, Riven. If you could delete any champion from League of Legends, everybody has one, right? Mm, I, um, the one that has caused me much, uh, the most pain and the most grief is Shaco. I've, <laughs> I've never been a big fan of Shaco, and plus he's got um, just a little bit of... Uh, <laughs> He's a little too <laughs> OP with how he can get away, yeah, 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 like yeah. the the invisibility, and then the, you know, I just I can't I can't handle that guy. Very frustrating. Well, Adam Harrington, the voice of Shaco, is also here, so you, you can go give uh, Riven a hug, Christina V, and then punch Adam Harrington and be like, I'm so fr frustrated that you've gone away. Thank so, you. anything else planned for the rest of the weekend? You're just gonna check out the games. You you have any anybody you hope to win the entire tournament? Um, well, 
I, I'm, 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 uh, I take life with a grain of salt. So, you know, I have my favorite teams, but I'm not like, yeah, they're going to win. Okay, you know, okay. I'm just enjoying every game as it's come. So, uh, yeah, was, I'm just here to have fun. Very good. Well, I hope you continue to have fun throughout the rest of the weekend. Thanks a ton for the interview. And uh, for everyone, this is Travis Gafford at IPL5. You can check out the rest of our IPL5 coverage at GameSpot.com slash eSports.